Can you guess who eyes you are looking into from from 3,000 years ago? Or who this scarred warrior face belonged to? These aren't just faces. They're the secrets of history and we are revealing for the first time and what we found will shock you. We're revealing the forgotten faces of kings, warriors, and even our earliest ancestors, brought back from the dead using cutting edge science and art. But it's not just about what they look like. It's about the hidden stories their faces reveal. The boy king cursed by illness, the Viking who survived countless battles, and a child from millions of years ago who holds the secrets of our own beginnings. Stay with us until the end, because the final face we uncover might just change the way you see humanity itself. Our journey begins in ancient Egypt, nearly 3,300 years ago, with a boy king whose life was shrouded in mystery and tragedy. King Tutankhamun ascended to the throne at just nine years old. He was the son of the heretic Pharaoh Akhenaten, and his reign was marked by turmoil as the kingdom struggled to return to its old gods. But scientists have now revealed that behind the mask of gold lies the face of a young boy plagued by illness. Recent studies reveal that Tut suffered from a club foot, a cleft palate and malaria. He wasn't the majestic ruler we imagine. He was a fragile, sickly child fighting for his life in a world filled with danger. Does this real vulnerable face of Tutankhamun change how you see the golden boy of Egypt? Next, we head to the harsh, unforgiving world of the Viking Age. This is the face of a warrior who lived over a thousand years ago, a warrior who braved the icy waters of the North Sea and fought in fierce battles to protect their clan. Their skull bears the marks of a brutal lifestyle, a broken nose, a healed jaw fracture, and a deep scar in their forehead. This was a person who knew violence, who carried the weight of survival on their shoulders every day. But the facial reconstruction revealed a surprising truth. Buried with weapons in a warrior's grave in Solar in Norway, the reconstruction revealed a secret that no one saw coming. Yes, that's right. This warrior from 1,000 years ago was a female clan leader. DNA proved this skull belonged to a woman who almost certainly died from an axe wound to her head. Now, let's step back 10,000 years to meet Cheddar Man, one of the earliest known inhabitants of Britain. His bones were found in a dark cave, where he likely lived with a small tribe, hunting and gathering in the wild forests of a prehistoric world. And before you ask, no, he wasn't made of actual cheddar cheese. Though judging by his name, he might have been quite popular at a prehistoric dinner party. All jokes aside, his appearance may shock you. It tells a story of migration, of people who crossed vast landscapes after the Ice Age, adapting to a new and untamed environment. The reconstruction of Cheddar Man's face challenged our preconceived notions. He had dark skin, curly hair, and piercing blue eyes, a combination that defies what many imagined early Britons to look like. Our next figure comes from the heart of medieval Europe, a knight who lived during a time of castles, crusades, and chivalry. But this isn't the romanticized knight of fairy tales. His skull reveals a different story. A skeleton discovered at Stirling Castle may have been an English knight who died in the 14th century. The skeleton was one of 10 excavated from the site of a lost royal chapel at the castle during refurbishment. The skeleton of a woman whose head had apparently been smashed with a mace was found near the knight. This was a man who fought in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat, who lived by a strict code of honor, and who may have carried the scars of battle not just on his body, but in his heart as well. He suffered a deep wound to the forehead likely from a sword strike. It's a miracle he survived it at all. Would you have imagined a knight's face to look this hardened by life's battles? Our journey ends with a face from the dawn of humanity itself, the Taung child, a tiny member of the Australopithecus africanus species. 
This little one lived over two million years ago in what is now South Africa. The reconstruction reveals a curious, innocent face with a flat nose and a prominent brow. Imagine this child's world, a dangerous place filled with predators. This was one of our earliest ancestors, taking its first steps on the long evolutionary path that would lead to us. These faces remind us that history is not just a collection of dates and events, it's the story of people. Each face tells a tale of love, struggle and survival. Which of these stories touched you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed traveling through time with us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible stories brought back to life.